Hi, Warriors. Uh, I'm sorry to be missing you today. I'm taking care of some family business. Uh, but the learning commences. We're going to continue on. Uh, you have already taken the quiz that contains the learning targets three through six in this unit. I hope it went well for you. Uh, and now we need to look at our last couple of learning targets, believe it or not, for the whole semester for all of TRIG. Um, and, and the only page you'll need to set up today is on 63. This is on the left side of your ISN. Um, we're going to talk about polar coordinates today. Uh, so you've got the half sheet. It's not the same color as mine. I hope that's okay with you. Uh, you've got the half sheet here for which you can plot some polar coordinates today. Uh, in a second, I'm going to take this out of my notebook. It's not glued in yet, just to kind of work with it with you. Okay. Get that thing out of the way. Okay. Zoom in. So guys, on 63 today, we're talking about polar coordinates. And polar coordinates is a different coordinate system than the one that you're used to. It's not the same as what we call rectangular. Uh, you don't need to write this down, necessarily. But rectangular coordinates are the coordinates that you've been graphing since probably middle school, where your ordered pairs are x, comma, y. But today, we're going to graph what we call polar coordinates where the ordered pairs are of the form r comma theta. Now r is the distance between the origin and the point, and theta is the standard position angle whose terminal side contains the point. Okay, I've got a couple of colors handy. Um, I've got the red and the blue color pencil that I'm going to use. You might want to do the same. Um, for this, I tend to always kind of use this red for my theta, my angle theta, and then the R, I kind of think of documenting in blue, okay? So what we're going to practice today is we're going to practice plotting some ordered pairs and polar coordinates. Uh, the six we're going to practice with are right here. I gave you room to look at, here's the polar coordinate graphing grid, and look at that thing. The coordinate system that you use has to be labeled slightly differently if you want to um, graph something in polar coordinates. Notice the angle markings around the outside here. Uh, convenient for you. Um, it'll help you locate an angle if you're trying to plot the ordered pair. Also then notice the kind of the concentric circles. They're all centered about the origin here. Those are going to help you determine a distance. Uh, what's important for you to know is that each of those circles is one unit further away from the previous one. The radius of each circle is one unit more than the one before it. So like this circle here, all the points on that uh, circle have a radius of 1. The next circle, all the points have a radius of 2. Here's a radius of 3 and so forth. So the circle markings and the angle markings are going to help you locate the ordered pairs that you need to plot. Okay. Um, essentially, what I want you to, to do is to think about how you would plot the ordered pair 3, comma, 2 pi over 3. Now, I'm going to tell you that I usually plot these thinking of this coordinate first. I usually try to find the angle first and then deal with what the radius r ought to be. So right here, for this first uh, ordered pair a, they're saying find the angle 2 pi over 3. Now that's in quadrant 2. That's right here. Okay? So what I want you to think about is, think about this. I'm going to draw the line lightly in red. Think about the line that has 2 pi over 3 marked for the angle. And think about the line, even the one that extends in the other direction backwards as well. To plot this ordered pair, once you've identified the line that we're dealing with, treat the angle marking as positive. If I'm looking for 2 pi over 3, the positive direction is going to be this way. If I happen to have a negative value for r, I would think about going this direction. Okay? I'm going to say that one more time. Once you find the angle marking and the line involved with plotting that ordered pair, Think of the direction you mark the angle as positive and the other direction as negative. 
So since this ordered pair is 3 comma 2 pi over 3, once I've found that line, I want to go 1, 2, 3 right there. A length of 3. And that point right there is A. Okay. That point right there is A. So you're going to need to identify where the angle is marked. You're going to need to then kind of extend that back the other way. And then consider the direction the angle is marked positive and the opposite direction negative. Let's try B. Let's try B. B is the ordered pair 2 comma negative pi over 4. And what I need to figure out first of all is where negative pi over 4 is marked. And negative pi over 4 would be the same rotation as pi over 4, but the negative direction, it's right here. It's right here. So I want to think about the line that contains negative pi over 4. I didn't draw it very straight, but okay. So negative pi over 4 is marked here. For this ordered pair, this is the positive direction because this is where negative pi over 4 is, the negative direction is this way. Okay. And since this is the positive direction, I need to go r equals 2. So I need to go along this line, 2 units toward positive, right there, is b. C is the order pair 1, comma 5 pi over 2. And I might need to think carefully about where 5 pi over 2 is. That's 5 of these rotations. So 5 pi over 2 would be like, there's 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2 is back here. So I need the line that contains pi over 2. Okay, I'm going to mark this as the positive direction because that's 5 pi over 2. I'm going to mark this as the negative direction. And then I need to go one unit in the positive direction from the origin along that line. So how about right there, right there. Okay, okay here's our first order pair at D that has a negative r. So I need to first locate 5 pi over 6. 5 pi over 6 is right here. So I'm thinking about this line. One of the hardest things I think to do here is if you're going to sketch this out is to find the right line once you cross the origin. Sometimes it's difficult to to, to indicate. Sometimes if you struggle with that, it might help to take a ruler along that line, you know, and say, hey, 5 pi over 6 is here, well, then this, then this thing here uh, is the opposite direction for 5 pi over 6. So don't be afraid to use your ruler stick. Okay. But then for this, for this order pair at D, negative 4, 5 pi over 6, this is the positive direction because this is where we mark the angle. The negative direction is back here. I don't need to go 4 this way. I need to go 4 back. 1, 2, 3, 4 right there. And right there should be the ordered pair D. Let's see, one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, right there. Okay. Two more to kind of practice with here. E is the order pair 0 comma pi. You know, if r is going to be 0, I think it has to be right there at the origin. And actually, in this particular case, it doesn't matter which direction uh, the angle is. No matter what the angle is, if r is 0, you're going to get the origin. There's E right there at the origin. 
Lastly, f is negative 5, negative 11 pi over 3. Okay, the challenge here, I hope, is finding negative 11 pi over 3. I need to count pi over 3 is this, uh, sorry, pi over 3 is this far, rather, 60 degrees. So I need to count 11 of those in the negative direction. Not the positive direction, but the negative direction. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to say, okay, there's 1. There's negative 2 pi over 3. Negative 3 pi over 3 is negative pi. Negative 4 pi over 3. Negative 5 pi over 3. Negative 6 pi over 3. So now the second time around, I'm negative 7. Negative 8. Negative 9. Negative 10 pi over 3. Right there is negative 11 pi over 3. Same place as positive pi over 3. Those are coterminal angles. So for this sketch, that's the positive direction because that's where negative 11 pi over 3 is marked. That's the negative direction. But I need negative 5 to be my r. So I don't need to go 5 positive, I need to go 5 negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right here in quadrant 3. Okay. So important information here at the bottom that will help you looking back at this. Um, if R is negative, count in the um, the the negative direction, the opposite direction. You might add from where the angle is marked. From where the angle is marked. And the other thing that's important here is in polar coordinates, no ordered pair is unique. Okay? Um, I could give you an ordered pair up here if we look back at one of these, like the 3, comma 2 pi over 3. I could have given you a different angle that ends in the same place, and you'd end at the same point. For example, if I'd written 3, comma, negative 4 pi over 3, well, that would have gotten me to the very same point on A as I got here. I just would have found the angle, negative 4 pi over 3, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, that is coterminal with 2 pi over 3. Here's another option. I could have actually ended with this angle, like negative pi over 3, and actually given you a negative R. If I'd given you negative pi over 3, then this direction would have been positive on that line. And then I'd have to go negative 3 to get to that point. So another option would be negative 3 comma negative pi over 3. So in, in, uh, in polar coordinates, the ordered pairs are not unique. Okay, uh, You can write more than one different ordered pair to get you the same point. Okay. Here is the, uh, the homework that goes with this learning target on OT7. On 681, I've got some practice for you, 5 through 18. Uh, you should have picked up some polar graph paper from the back of the room when you came in today. And that's what I would like you to use to work on these, uh, these homework items that are asking you to practice plotting some ordered pairs. Okay? The odd exercises have answers in the back. Try to work together to figure out the evens if you can, and if you struggle, we'll talk about things when we get together next week on Tuesday. Thank you, Warriors, for being flexible with us today. Uh, let's get some hard work done now. Hope you have a great weekend and a safe weekend, and I'll see you guys next week.